Right, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is um, highlight this, just this object here. And we're going to go to the spline level. And I just want to uh, detach the guides. The, these are where the bases of the trunk are going to go. So I'll go down here um, in the spline to detach. And then select them. Uh, choose move. Uh, those are at two meters at the moment in the Z. I'll just right click to put them down to the ground plane there. Uh, and those are going to be our guides um, where the uh, the new tree trunks are going to go. So I'm going to choose the uh, the trunk O1 down here, and I'm going to shift move. To there, uh, and I'm going to choose a copy, and I'm going to delete the delete mesh and the volume select off that, and then we're going to go around and have a look at it. Um, let's just choose these because hide everything else. These are what we're going to be working on at the moment. Um, okay, choose that. And uh, there are different ways of scaling this up. You could use a, um, you could just scale it up and then reset the X form, or you could use an X form scaler, or you could go to the element and scale everything up. Um, if I did that, I'd lose, oh, I'd lose the selection I had earlier. So um, let's see. We'll just scale it up and then reset it afterwards. Um, so I know what I'm doing. I'm going to choose these right click to the object properties and just to tell those to be see-through okay I'll scale this up to a size that I'm happy with I think that's fine um, before I move those, I'm going to uh, just reset the X form there and convert that back to a mesh. So that's taking the scale back to 100. Uh, now I'm going to move, I'm going to shift move another one to there as a copy and rotate it a bit. I could choose this one here, I was going to rotate, um, yeah, but actually that's fine. I want them to appear different, that, that will work. And now shift move that again. There's a copy. Rotate it so it's a little different. And I'm going to choose both of those. I'll choose one. Shift move that here as a copy again. One more time. Brilliant. Right, so if I just put the uh, edges on, I'm going to choose this first tree here. I'm going to go to uh, attach. I'm going to attach this one and this one. Right click to come off that and choose this one. And again, attach. Attach that one. And I'm going to call this one. Um, L-shaped tree. And this one rectangular shaped tree. Um, and I'm gonna save the file now. I'm gonna save as and uh, we don't we don't want to save over our particle flow 
Topiary 3 file because we want to come back to that maybe in different projects. And what I'd do now is I'd save this file um, with the, the name of the project and the Topiary, for example. Um, example Garden 3, it's not a great name, but that's what we'll call it. We'll, um, we'll call it Example Garden Topiary. If I make any mistakes or confuse myself, I can come back to that file and start again. Um, so now we've got uh, two trunk objects and boxes to describe the, um, the trimming and also where the uh, foliage is going to go um, for both of these unique shapes. Okay, well the first tree we're going to do is this rectangular one here. So we'll go to the spline level and select that one, select that spline and detach it. And I'm going to copy the extrude off there and paste that on so it's the same. Uh, and then I'm going to unhide the work we did earlier. And the first thing I want to do is choose box 01, which is the mesh controlling the particle flow and the trimming of this tree here. And I want to update that. So I'm going to add an edit poly. I'm going to choose the element and delete it all and then I'm going to attach that box over there so you can see instantly the particle flow has updated and it's put all the leaves uh, on the surface and in the volume of that box now we're going to come back and we're going to do the um, do the leaves uh, after we've done the branches and the trunk so I'm just going to hide those I'm going to hide this other stuff which I'm not using at the moment, just get rid of that. Uh, and then I'm going to choose the trunk mesh. I'm going to go down to editable mesh, choose everything and delete it. But I am going to attach with these meshes here. And it's remembered the selection I did earlier on one tree. It hasn't copied it over, so we'll, we'll do that again. So uh, right click to come off attach, choose both of the trunks uh, in one of the, um, I'm going to do it in the front viewport. I'm going to control click uh, an extra selection. I want to keep those. then we should be able to come out of that and it should be trimming those choose a perspective view have a look take the edges off should be trimming those and it is so that's worked and uh, we can unhide the particle flow source and we're going to have to do some scaling and increasingly nut increase the number of um, particles here as well um, because it's much bigger than the uh, original um, mesh uh, box 01 that we had We've um, so it's showing viewport and render at 100% um, straight away I think the leaves are a bit a bit small so I want those to be bigger um, so we'll go to particle view and if you remember we need to we've got two sets of um, shape instance sizes here that we that we have to change um, and we'll just try 200% uh, for example see what that's doing Good. And we have 
to increase the birth amount as well. Um, we'll try three times as many, see what that does. That could be working quite nicely. Um, we can check that. We can go to File, References, XREF Scene. Bring the XREF Scene dialog over here. We're going to go to Add. We're going to add our example Garden 03 and open it. And it will take a, it'll take 20 seconds just to load that file in. There we go, and don't remember, don't forget that scene um, has a lighting, a V-Ray light system in, so we're just going to tell the XREF manager to ignore the lights in the um, garden scene. We've got to make sure we um, we remove this if we save this file for anything useful. We don't want to create a circular reference, um, but we're not going to do that. We're actually going to save these objects out. Um, so we can do a test render now with... Um, it's still a particle flow, but it's uh, it's in context, um, and we'll see what that's doing. Okay, well that's finished rendering, and um, uh, you can see here the the tall grass that we placed earlier hasn't appeared. That's all right. That means it means it rendered quickly, um, but it it is XREF. Remember, we can turn those on and off um, in the layers, and I quite like the way they look. Way these uh, way this looked, I, I thought maybe a bit dense, um, so we could we could try um, a lower amount number, and uh, I'm just going to re-render that and uh, see what happens.